Hey, Thomas Tapp here, and my brother and I are in the Blue Eight Dance House right now. You can check this out, got the mirrors and everything. But I was reading through a bunch of the YouTube comments, and there's some great questions. And this was on um, a couple of the last videos we did, specifically on the flow video that we shot recently. We showed you a, a drill or an exercise to do um, to improve on your flow. And uh, one question was from Sasso uh, Markovsky. Hopefully I pronounced that right. I actually wrote this on a plate because I was just eating and I wanted to write these down. Um, and he asked, uh, please can you do some more tutorials for flow? Um, then Dominic Jones, you uh, said, what about if you live in the country, how could you practice? And then uh, Nadia Noor Styles also said, how to do this drill if you don't have a place to train? Because the last video we shot with the flow, we had a lot of obstacles to work with. And I know this is a common thing for a lot of us, as we just don't have places to train. So in this video, I'm going to give you four to five really good flow exercises and uh, drills that you can do on flat ground. So flat ground we can find anywhere. This, this is, I'm going to do it on hardwood floor, um, but try to find a nice grass area to do, this, do these drills and exercises. Alright, this first exercise to really help with the flow is uh, we're going to be training our parkour roll. Now the parkour roll, like we've talked about a lot before, is one of the most important things that we want to learn. It's going to help absorb high landings. It's very useful and if you can learn one move in parkour, I would recommend learning the parkour roll because it's that important. It's also great for flow. You're going to be using it a lot to do, to roll out of things and increase your flow. So with the parkour roll, if you haven't checked out our in-depth parkour roll tutorial, um, then you want to click on the link in the description to sign up for our five day free course. The first day goes over the parkour roll. Uh, I'm just going to show you a little demonstration of what it looks like and kind of break it down. So you're going to start in a crouched low position and we're going to put our arms over in, into a diamond position and roll over diagonally on our shoulder, land on our feet. This is going to be the first move that we're going to do. So the parkour roll. The second move we're going to do is a little move that my brother and I uh, discovered in circus and a little bit of break dancing. It's similar to the coin drop, if you've seen that in tricking, except it's the start of the coin drop and we're just kicking the leg around. So it's kind of like a dance move. So what, what, it's, what you do in the start is you have your legs spread out wide a little bit further shoulder width apart. You're going to have your arms out like so, you're going to twist to generate that momentum and you're going to be taking your, in this case I swing with, uh, towards my left, so you're going to be taking your right hand and swinging it down and across to the left foot, so here, and placing it down in front. Now as we're doing this, we're going to take our left foot and swing it back and around chasing this arm. So you have this nice circle feel to it. So I'll show you real quick what it looks like. Place down, here, up. Okay, so that's what it looks like. So carrying the right hand down to the left foot, kicking the left foot up, over and around, and then so you're gonna kick up, and then we're gonna place the other hand down for support, and then the other foot. So it looks look like this. I'll show it to you in slow motion. Up. And we're keeping the center here. So you want to try to keep the hands and the feet all in this circle and you're going back and forth. It's like this wave here going on. So when you do it a couple times, it should look like this. Really cool, simple move to get down. It really helps with coordination. Then the next move is called the coffee grinder. Now my brother and I picked this up from break dancers a long time ago. And we use this a lot with um, a lot of the flow moves or a lot of flow routines that you see us do. It's just a really nifty move. So you're gonna start off low to the ground. You're going to stick your right leg out. I'm gonna be swinging my right leg around. And the, what you wanna think about the whole entire time is keeping balance. So you wanna keep your body um, center the entire time and you want your leg to swing around in a full circle 
And basically, if you've seen uh, those toys a long time ago, the skippets, you know, where you're swinging the little stick or whatever it was around and you hop over it, your leg's gonna act as a skippet. So you're going over it. And like this. And don't mind the crumb. Uh, so, during this, to keep balance, we're gonna be using our hands to apply some of the weight here, back and forth. So again, we wanna keep the balance the entire time. We're gonna be using our hands and shifting our chest and our weight to keep that balance the entire time. So basically, this right leg is swinging around, and then once this, once this leg gets centered, then you're gonna place the right hand down on the ground to have that support and have that balance. So then you can get ready to kick this leg up, raise it up in there and have the leg continue to swing around, basically step over, and then you place the hand down here, which opens this back area up for the balance again. And then the same process over and over again. So you're constantly performing this wave of the points. So you're constantly keeping that balance. Then the next flow exercise is going to be taking QM into crab in a fluid motion. And this is a really cool move to add in there. It's also great for developing coordination and also core. Um, but you're going to start off in your QM position, where we're back straight uh, on the balls of the feet, on the hands, shoulders, and everything aligned here so the joints are stacked. And then what we're going to do is take our right hand and our left foot, so the opposites, and we're going to swing them up, swing them up and around to go into the crab position. So I'll show you that again. Here, swinging up and around. So it's basically like you're threading your leg, you're taking your hand up and over and setting down this position. And then we're going to continue that motion again with the opposite arm and leg from the crab position. So this time we're going to take the right foot and the left hand and take it back and around. So back and around, so we land back in QM position. So I'll show you real quick again. This is a really nifty way to get into crab and QM with uh, fluid movement. So now that we have those four uh, flow exercises, we're going to start putting them together. This is where it gets really cool and a lot of fun. So you start off with the parkour roll. So we go into the parkour roll, land, go directly from here, pop up, and go into that coin drop start we talked about here. Again, do it a couple times, and then directly from there, you're going to transition into the coffee grind. Do a couple coffee grinds, land in QM, and then perform the QM to crab a couple of times. Now, one more thing that I want to touch on is this is going to be the hardest part of this drill is transitioning from each move. So when you start off with the parkour roll, you land, you want to put all the weight or the weight in your right foot after you do the roll. So you land here, so that way you can transition into that coin drop start, nice and smooth. Then from here, when you land with that left leg on the coin drop start, you're going to lower slowly and go directly into that coffee grinder. And then from here, the coffee grinder, once you land with the foot back behind, you're gonna land in that QM position and perform that QM motion. So after we get those moves down, we're gonna, again, piece them together and keep them continuous. Try to do about three to four rounds. I'm gonna show just a couple rounds for you real quick. So you start off parkour roll, go up, coin drop start, coffee ground, land, back, and again. So 
So you get the feel for it. It's just a really great way to develop the coordination, the flow, and you don't have to have an incredible crazy spot. This is all on flat ground. So for those of us in the country, those of us who don't have places to train and want to get our flow, these are the type of exercises and drills we can do to really master that. So that wraps up this video. Really hope it helps with your flow. Um, as always, train safe. Make sure to subscribe to the channel above here for more videos like this. Leave comments below for any flow drills or flow tips that you have. Uh, add it to the mix. And I'll see you in the next video.